everyone! Welcome to Beauty and Beyond, and I am your host and glamour guru, Dara. Today, I have prepared an interesting topic for those who are aspiring to be a hairdresser just like me. So we will be talking about the essentials to being a hairdresser. So let's start with number one, education, education, and education. I simply cannot stop my emphasis on this word. Why? Because even if licensing for hairdressers is not a requirement in our country, it is important that you do study in a good school. All right, I'm not looking down on people who have honed their craft and mastered their craft through experience. But if you can afford to study in a good school, I am telling you, it will pay off in the future because what's important and the basis in being also a good hairdresser is having the right foundation when it comes to cutting. So later on, it's easy to copy the hairstyles that you see on any social media platforms. All right? Number two, you have to love people. Why is this so? It's common sense. You will be dealing with people if you are a hairdresser. You are a hairdresser. It starts with, of course, your boss, your colleagues, of course, your clients. You can't live without your clients. And also, if you're a salon owner, your staff. So you definitely have to love people. Number three, invest in your tools. I'm not telling you to buy the most expensive scissors, brushes, combs, and others, others, others. All right, what's important is also please buy the, I will put an emphasis on this again, the really cheap quality ones. Uh, sorry, but you know, when you have the good quality tools, work becomes effortless and you also work at ease. So always consider quality over quantity. Number four, you have to know your market. When I say market, of course, as a beginner, you really don't know what market you will be catering to. But later on, you can identify your market. And I tell you, you cannot capture all sorts of market. Like for me, for instance, when I was a beginner, because I, I used to do salon work in the province. We had the salon in the province. It was good. I was happy. And then I tried my luck here in Makati. And I just realized that I'm happier here because my clients appreciate my work more. And we somehow can easily get each other. So it really depends. It's a case-to-case -case basis. You'll be the one to determine what kind of market you'll be able to capture. And number five, grooming is everything. Always keep this in mind. It all starts with hygiene. Make sure that when you enter the salon, you have showered, you have brushed your teeth, you have done your hair. You have applied deodorant and just a mild perfume or fragrance to get you through the day. And make sure you have mints with you so that during your break, when you're in a rush and you really can't brush your teeth, then at least you can freshen your breath by making daya and just, you know, chewing those mints with you. All right. And then make sure that you are, of course, you'll be standing up for a long period of hours. Make sure that you are wearing comfortable shoes that are also trendy not those high heels because it won't be comfortable for you and then you may wear fashionable or trendy clothes but make sure it's also comfortable because if it's hot and you're you know working with your blow dryer the whole day you don't want to smell like sweat and then if you're into accessories just like me make sure that your accessories don't get in the way 
Now, if you're into wearing a uniform, then at least, you know, what's nice about it is you don't have to spend so much and you're not pressured into thinking what outfit to wear on a daily basis. All right. So next is number six, always observe proper etiquette. And what do I mean by this? All right. So once your client sits on your chair, you have to be able to be sensitive and read her. So listen more to her, what she's saying, and specifically the non-verbal cues. When I say non-verbal cues, I mean body language. So try to read her body language, what she likes and she doesn't like. Don't talk too much again, listen to her. And uh, also, observe proper phone etiquettes, meaning don't take phone calls or answer texts. Put your phone on silent mode. And then also, don't ask your client personal questions. And give your clients 100 or 100%, more than 100% of your attention. Why? Because the time that she has made an appointment with you, she actually owns you for that time until you finish doing her hair. So make sure that you give your full attention to her. And this is very important for those of you who are taking, who are into taking pictures or selfies. Please do not take pictures with your clients if you don't ask for their permission. And never post it on social media if you don't ask for their permission. Number seven, never, never, and never date your clients. All right. I had an experience of this. Okay, so I dated this client, and then it did work out. It did become us, but somehow, whoopsie, there was awkwardness, and finally, he never came back. So for me, my lesson for that is, if I do date my client, then he will never be my client again. Because what's going to happen is if things don't work out, he's going to leave you or you won't do his hair anymore. You'll be telling him or refusing to do his hair. So that's a very important rule. Never, never date your client no matter what happens. You can either be you know, a couple, but you won't end up doing his hair. That's for me. I'm speaking for myself. Or you can do his hair, but you cannot be a couple. So there are very strict rules to follow when it comes to dating your clients. Number eight is, I call this, it's not post-dated check, but it's close to that. PDC. P stands for perseverance, perseverance, patience, and passion. You have to be passionate with what you're doing as a hairdresser because it's really not easy. And you need all the patience in the world because you'll be dealing with different kinds of people from work and also with your clients. And work is also not easy because you're standing on your feet practically the whole day. D stands for deep desire. This is what you really love. This is your purpose in life. So there is desire in what you're doing as a hairdresser. And C stands for compassion and commitment. You have to be commit committed to what you're doing. When the going gets tough, you just won't leave what you're doing because you know that that is your purpose in life. So just an example would be the pandemic. I remember since it's been going on for so long, I was thinking of, should I shift careers? But you know, that's not my calling. This is my calling to be a hairdresser or a glamour guru. So I'm sticking to it. This is what I call grit. It is a new term that's been going around and if you'd like to know more about that word grit, please check out my interview in Pinoy Reel here on YouTube as well. 
So there, it's B, D, and C. And number nine is, all right, always follow your gut feel. When I say gut feel or instinct, it's something inside you that tells you, okay, okay, stop thinning out her hair. Because that happens to me when I'm, especially if I'm doing uh, freestyle cutting, and I'm just, you know, thinning out the hair, removing some bulk. There's a voice that tells me, all right, stop. Or you can, you know, I can do more thinning on the left, but stop it on the right. Or I can do more thinning on the crown. And also, I remember there was a time when, all right, I normally have an assistant when I was working in the salon. So I advised her to do a hair treatment on my client. All right, so I went. I went and sat in the waiting area while my assistant was applying the treatment on my client's hair. And then after like a few minutes, probably three or five minutes, I smelled this particular foul scent. So you know what dawned in me was like, treatment has to smell pleasant and relaxing. It's like aromatherapy oils. So you know, I just stood up went back to my client and just checked the cream that my assistant was applying and i was like who so shocked thank god i went back she wasn't applying a treatment cream but she is applying a cream but it was a rebonding cream so i panicked and i just told my my assistant uh can you just stop so i didn't show my client that i was already panicking and then i called her to a private room and I told her to stop and I told her that she had to rinse my clients here or else it's gonna be damaged because she's not supposed to apply rebonding cream so can you just imagine if I didn't follow that instinct who I don't know what's gonna happen my client might hate me for life <laughs> all right and then another example especially during this pandemic a lot of my female clients are into having a pixie haircut okay i have one client she's a fashionista very glamorous beautiful woman all of a sudden messaged me and asked me if i can go to her house and give her a pixie haircut i'm like what you i don't think so so i had to put my foot down and even if i was available during that time i just told her i'm sorry ma'am but i'm not available so I gave her two days to think about it because I know later on she will really regret it. She's not the type of woman who would go for a pixie hairstyle, specifically if she's into, you know, dressing up and doing all sorts of hairstyles on her hair. So thank God I listened to her because after a week she messaged me, oh, you know what, I'm so thankful that you didn't come over during that time that I requested for a pixie hairstyle because... I think I'm regret. I'm going, to, I'm going to regret it. And I told her, I knew that. And then she just gave me this really big smile. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next is, this is number 10, right? Yes. Number 10, always stay humble and teachable. It doesn't mean that because you've already made your mark as a great, or good hairdresser you have to look down on the newbies or just feel like yeah I'm so great already no it doesn't work that way always remain humble and teachable keep updated on the trends when it comes to hairstyle hair cutting coloring and all of that because it changes so fast right now when you look at social media everything's new so whether you watch it free on youtube or other channels or if you enroll online please always be updated so again always be updated humble and teachable number 11 all right stay fit since you are always working on your feet almost the entire day everything's moving when it comes to your body parts you're standing your arms are moving your back is moving your mind is working like overtime assessing your client's hair and thinking of what hairstyle to create and the colors to combine make sure that you stay fit exercise is very important if you can't do it five days a week try to do it three times a week all right 
and always eat a well-balanced diet. Avoid those oily food because it's gonna make you sleepy, I'm telling you. All the fried um, fast food type of food. Number 12. Yeah, number 12 is always keep updated with the news and everything that's happening around you. It's nice to be informed, why? because you just don't know what topics you and your clients might talk about. Let me just give you an example. I have clients who are really intelligent, like the doctors and other fields as well, all right? And when they sit on my chair, we talk about Greek mythology, what's new in the medical field, even if I'm not a doctor. And then of course, now we talk about COVID, the coronavirus, and then, the topics that they're really inclined to. And I also have clients who are into Netflix TV series. So I have to be updated with that as well or with Hollywood news. So it's nice because it serves as, a, as an icebreaker. And you know, my clients, they just co don't come to me because I do their hair well for them, but it's also because we can talk about something interesting and exciting. All right and last is number 13 never and never and never be jealous of other hairdressers just like what I'm telling you your time will definitely come you just have to be patient all right this job it's not just all about glamour fame and fortune it's a lot of hard work education and loving people so you know if you enjoy what so you know if you enjoy what you're doing you're passionate about it you love it so much i assure you that your time will definitely come you'll be a great known hairdresser if you work from your heart well i hope you learned something new today and you enjoyed the topic hairdressers essentials this is uh what i can share with you as part of my experience from being a hairdresser for almost 20 years so thank you for watching and if it's your first time to watch me on my channel please like and subscribe and subscribe to beauty and beyond and again i am dara Good night, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!